A veteran grade school teacher fired for her ex-husband's actions. She is a victim of domestic violence, and the school says her ex-husband's criminal behavior makes it too dangerous to have her around those children. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with her story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Carrie Charlesworth's life has been turned upside down, first by her ex-husband and now by the school where her children attended and she taught. But the school says they terminated her for her own safety and the well-being of the children enrolled at the school. Carrie Charlesworth, a devoted mother of four and dedicated school teacher in the Roman Catholic Diocese of San Diego for 14 years. And see why people call us the Holy Trinity family. But this morning, Charlesworth is out of a job and her children have also been banned from attending the school. All Charlesworth says, not because of something she did, but because of her ex-husband. I had four kids. I didn't want to be a statistic. Charlesworth divorced her husband two years ago and got a restraining order because he was physically abusive. Last January, Charlesworth's ex showed up in Holy Trinity's parking lot. The school went into lockdown. The next day, it put Charlesworth and her children on indefinite leave. I've done everything that they tell a victim of domestic violence to do, and yet I still got punished because he made the choice to show up to school that day. The diocese says it won't renew Charlesworth's contract, expressing concern about student safety. The diocese says Charlesworth's ex has a, quote, 20-plus year history of abuse and harassment directed not just at her, but at other women, and that her restraining order was, quote, not a deterrent to him. I paid the ultimate price by losing my job. My children lost their school. They didn't get to say goodbye to their friends. I wonder, could they have relocated her to another facility? Could they have worked with her to keep that location confidential so that the abuser wouldn't find her there? Charlesworth and her lawyer say they're exploring options for a possible lawsuit against the San Diego Diocese. I have my good days and my bad days. Days where I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have four kids to take care of, and I'm the only one. Charlesworth has not yet filed suit. Since part of her lesson plan was teaching religion, she was technically considered a minister of the church. And there is a ministerial exception, which stipulates she can be fired without cause, Robin. Okay, Lindsay, thank you. We're going to talk to Dan Abrams about that, our legal analyst. But first, Dan, there, there are valid arguments on both sides of this debate. What, what do you make of this case? I, I am completely outraged uh, by this case. The notion that this perpetrator now has an additional tool in his arsenal to terrorize her and her family is outrageous. And it doesn't just apply to her. This applies to domestic violence victims around the country. The notion that the perpetrator gets to control it because, hey, he, he keeps showing up. Great, I'll get her fired. That's another way that he can terrorize her. We have got to figure out a better way to deal with these things rather than firing the person. Now, we heard there in, in the piece uh, a woman talking about the idea of relocation, confidentiality, you could put her on leave. There, there are other options here, but the idea that you are keeping her kids out of that school and firing her cannot be the solution. We also heard from Lindsay, because it's a Catholic school and because of what she was teaching, the question is, does she have this lawsuit that she's filing, does she have any chance here? It's going to be a tough lawsuit. I mean, it, she's, she's allowed to ask for time under California law to go deal with this issue in the courts, but she is not protected, as is the case in a very few states, from being fired based on being a victim of domestic violence. There is a, uh, a, a bill pending in California that would protect victims from d of domestic violence from this sort of action, but that's not the case currently in California, so it's going to be an uphill battle. And, and many would say you can't fault the parents either. I mean, the parents are concerned about their children. I get it. I get why all these parents are upset. I get why they don't want this guy at their school, but we have got to be able to figure something out here. Yeah, there has to be further discussion yeah. about this. All right, Dan, thanks okay, very much. much.